<clears throat> Good evening. This is Warning 616 Two Wolves with a bit of a shocker. You may have heard of it already. News came out tonight, March 23rd, 2012. I have two or three versions of the story. This particular one is from the Vancouver Sun. Japanese ghost ship lost in tsunami found off the sea coast by Mark Hager, Vancouver Sun www.vancouversyn.com slash news Well, we knew it was coming, and here it is. There's the ship. A Japanese fishing boat that was lost at sea after the 2011 tsunami has been found off the coast of BC. This particular picture is from Department of National Defense. After being flushed out to sea by last year's massive tsunami and earthquake, a Japanese squid fishing boat has drifted across the Pacific Ocean and was about 120 nautical miles off British Columbia's north coast Friday evening. That's today. There's the boat again. The 150-foot ship was found drifting right side up about 140 nautical miles, that's 260 kilometers, 260 kilometers, from the closest town, Cape St. James, on the northern tip of Haida Gwaii. Haida Gwaii used to be called the Queen Charlotte Islands until quite recently. Very beautiful, um, wonderful center of First Nations culture and ancient history. Uh, David Suzuki has a home here and dearly loves it. Very pristine and untouched. And so Cape St. James is on the southern tip, right about here. This is so this is where the ship's gone aground. And this is a coast of BC, northern coast of BC. About here is where the inside passage would technically start. This is should be desolation sound right about in there. Back to the article, it's been drifting across the Pacific for a year, so it's pretty beat up, said Marine Search Coordinator Jeff Olson of Victoria's Joint Rescue Coordination Center. Yes, it is. Oops. Quite beat up. A plane on a routine surveillance patrol for the Fisheries and Defense Departments found the ship on the afternoon of March 20. The Canadian Coast Guard has issued a notice to all vessels that the ship is an obstruction to navigation. And mind you, one would think, don't go near the ship. It's bound to be contaminated, one would think. Transport Canada was still monitoring the boat Friday evening for marine pollution and interference with passing ships. The government body would not say whether the ship would be towed in or left to drift to shore on its own. This is also in generally in the area of traditional First Nations fishing waters. A boat that size would most likely be towed into Haida Gwaii and could even be brought in by a commercial fishing ship, said towing expert Paul Gray. The ghost ship is probably going to be pretty much worthless. Nobody's going to want to have anything to do with it because of the huge costs that are going to be incurred towing it to shore, said Gray, senior captain with the Vessel Assist Towing Company. All that garbage is going to hit Alaska, it's going to hit BC, and it's going to hit Washington. That's pretty much predicted and to be expected because of the currents. The vessel's hull numbers were traced to the ship's owner in Japan, who confirmed that nobody was believed to be on the ship when it was dragged out to sea, Olson said. The boat, the first large piece of post-tsunami debris to hit North America, was confirmed lost by Japanese officials. Attempts to hail the ship brought no response, and Olsen told the son, quote, we know nobody's in danger. Well, no, nobody's alive aboard the ship, therefore nobody's in danger. Okay, it's not at all true that nobody is in danger. What about the people who live in Haida Gwaii? And of course, now that the ship has this large an item has been washed to our shores, then we know that the rest of the debris cannot possibly be far away, can it? Another article, this article actually, um, CBC News, 
http colon backslash backslash www.cbc.ca backslash news. Tsunami linked fishing boat adrift off BC. Less dramatic headline, same troubling story. And then, of course, it's also sad. You think about, well, what became of the crew? It's really rather odd. You know, either way, it's a terrible tragedy just in this story itself, not to mention what's bound to follow. Nobody believed 50-meter vessel swept away in 2011 Japanese disaster. Okay, they posted again tonight, a few hours ago. Last updated at 9.35 p.m., CBC News Online. A Japanese fishing boat that was washed out to sea in the March 2011 Japanese tsunami has been located adrift off the coast of BC, but then again we know it's, it's basically being washed up on the shore there at Cape St. James. So have a look at these articles. There's another version online, Yahoo Canada. In any case, this is certainly not good news. So this is warning 616, two wolves, saying, hang in there, folks. Prayers for the people of BC, First Nations of Haida Gwaii, of course, for the people of Japan, and the souls of the sailors that were probably lost at sea or trying to get to their boat during the tsunami. Be safe. Warning 616 out.